This is the Preston. Out. Let go. Y'all ready to search for Preston John? Let's talk Dalai Lama. Let's talk the Prester and the Dalai Lama back in the Prester John legend and its sources. I just want to get this little insert right quick to this book. And again, love to the Battle family for dropping this book on us. And make it the PDF. Top Battle, make the PDF, put it in the drop library at 432drop.com. Uh, a lot of for your patience on the website. We're making a lot of changes, so it might be up and down right now. You know, we're we're playing for keeps, man. So we're making some big changes. And you know the hijack is never late, man. <laughs> so let's get a slither of this and then we're gonna go into this Mongol flow. And it's about time to start talking some Mongolian history again. Remember Mongol means the great ones. So it's not some Everything they made seem like a savage, you gotta flip. And even like barbarians are just a barbar. The barbar is the swan, like the swan knights of Salimah. Sylvanus took Texas. Come. All right, let's go. Mr. Preston Owl, hey, out to the car. What it do? So I'm gonna get it from right here. It says there are two personages or perp or people that have for centuries been very famous in the world. Prester John and the Dalai Lama. Now I'm reading from this insert of the letter from John or Johan Gottlieb, Georgie of Russia, dated 1780. G-O-T-T-L-I-E-B Georgi G-E-O-R-G-I A complete historical account of all the nations which composed that empire. And uh, in parentheses it says Johann Gottlieb Georgi was a German naturalist geologist and geographer who spent much of his life journeying throughout Russia and Siberia. In the following excerpt Georgi puts forth the unique argument that Preston John, the head of the Nestorian Church, and the Dalai Lama of Tibet were the same person. This is the Preston. Ah. 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 Get cozy, my not Get cozy. Man. Going on a fantastic voyage, man. Rest of power. Cool. So this Johan, this German geologist, geographer, is putting together a theory that the Dalai Lama and Preston John King David are the same. Of course, we're talking India Superior. So when they reflected that India over there and gave us a new Tibet, now you have a new Tibetan. Now you got a new Indian, right? But who's the cause of India Superior? Where is India Superior? And why is it on the maps over America? And if Preston John, <laughs> you know, is uh, camping out right here, popping off in India Superior, as a Superior Khan would, as a Superior Khan should, then the original Tibet and that which they call the Dalai Lama which is a title of this chief of this priest Khan. Preston just means priest right Dalai Lama let's go so are they the same person and notice it said Preston John the head of the Nestorian church because they kept trying to call him a Christian but then they said nope He's an historian, which only translates to an old king renowned for wisdom 
wise king or a wise counsel, right? So this wisdom is also conveyed with the Dalai Lama, right? So you see the comparison, the connection, you know, with this, the wisest people in history, the Dalai Lama, the Prester John, the King Solomon, King David. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. There are two personages that have for centuries been very famous in the world, Preston John and the Dalai Lama. Three travelers, Carpini, Robruski, or Robukis, William of Rubric, and Marco Polo first made Europe acquainted with Preston John, but they all have different opinions about him. The first represents him as an Indian king. <laughs> like King David, right? The second as a Christian king of the Tartarian horde Naaman. The Naamans were rocking side by side with Israel, with Hasharah, with the Preston. So all this is one family, Tartarians, Nestorians, all these are connected back to the Hebrew people. It's a more and more war. And the Christian king is the same as saying he's an Nestorian king. But they knew he wasn't no Christian in the fold of Christianity that they're kicking. He is, you know, an historian, an old king renowned for wisdom. They're just putting these titles on people. We got to dodge the titles. So, Carpini represents him as an Indian king. William of Rubric represents him as a Christian king. <laughs> okay. But we see clearly. Um, you now it says the second represents him as a uh, Christian king of the Tartarian horde, naming whom he believed to be likewise Christians, but both their accounts are certainly wrong. All right, so they're not Christians, which is why they're searching for Preston John and not finding Preston John because <laughs> his Hebrew priest king wasn't dealing with no Christians and he wasn't dealing with these uh, Muslims, Islam, none of that stuff. He's fighting the sultans. He's fighting all these hordes over here and Arabic hordes over there and, and Christian hordes over here. He's a Hebrew. They're trying to convert him to Islam. They're trying to convert him to Christianity. They just want to take his promised land. He's trying to keep it for the tribe. The Portuguese haven't found a way to India to see around Africa discovered a certain Christian prince in Abyssinia whom they took for Preston John. So which India? Which India? Remember the Portuguese monument, right? 1145 to 1645, they searching for him. They searching for the Preston. Whom they took for Preston John. Notwithstanding that the three before mentioned travelers had placed him not in Africa, but in their boat. <laughs> So they're looking for him in Africa, Ethiopia, India. They're looking for everywhere for this black man, right? So-called black man, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> just, 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 just look it up. Look up Preston John, man. They call him Ethiopian and Oriental, but why they call him Oriental? Unless the map was flipped and you're in the East and not the West. You're in the Far East. So to them, they're looking for him in the Far East, which is America or India Superior. This is the Preston Hour. Ah, ah. Yeah, man.